watched a few of my other videos that I've posted a very very long time ago but I haven't posted one in ages and um, yeah I'm all cuddled up because it's really really cold tonight and it was today um yeah so this video I pretty much should be really doing homework like I have so much homework to do I have six assignments so much is going on in my life but I just couldn't not do this video. Um, it's been on my heart all day, maybe for two weeks a week, and I feel like other people in the world will feel it too. And for a long time, like in these last two weeks, I felt like I'm the only person who can feel it. Like I'm the only person who understands this emotion, and no one can relate to me, and no one can um, cry with me, and no one can talk to me about it and no one understands my personal loneliness <laughs> but they do and that's why I wanted to make this video I wanted to make it because I have finally today been reading and I found something that makes me feel so much comfort and it takes away that feeling of loneliness for a while and puts my mind in a place of um, hope and happiness and future possibilities and yeah so for everyone who feels lonely in being you know single or even in a relationship if you feel lonely or if someone's far far away and you miss them like crazy or if you've lost someone or if someone's really ill and these people are close to you maybe you're at school all the time and you don't feel like you have friends around you and that you might even have a group of people around you but you still feel really lonely. There are lots of different um, reasons why people feel lonely and everyone's experiences are different but I never even thought about that until I just stepped out of myself and I'm like I'm not the only person that feels this way um, and it's not because I don't have great friends around me at all, that's not why, it's not because I don't have an amazing family and it's not because of the circumstances in my life that have happened lately, it's just because I think there's something in, um, I really know how to say this without, there's something that happens in your mind, I feel like it almost plays tricks on you and it, it starts to feed you lies and it says things like, you're not good enough for anyone and you're not good enough for the person that you love and you're not good enough for their time and those girls don't want to hang out with you. Why would they want to hang out with you? Your parents don't love you. Why would you even bother with them? Just go up to your room, lie on your bed and fall asleep and stay asleep. Maybe even go kill yourself. Who knows? But I'm serious. People's minds act this way and they that's where these lonely feelings and thoughts come from and... I think I just want to say this for those people who are feeling that, like, don't, don't ever succumb to putting yourself in the position where you no longer exist on this earth. Don't do it. Don't let those thoughts rule your life, rule your mind, and rule your day tomorrow because it's just so not worth, worth it when God has such a big plan for your future. And you also might be sitting there listening to me like, oh my gosh, this girl is talking about a load of crap. Who is God? Number one. Number two, I'm nothing. Number three, no one cares about me. Number four, I should just quit watching this video. And if you feel that way, go for it. If not, I'd like to read you something. Um, it's a book called The Bible Promise Book. And there's all really good um, verses in here that promise you things that God has said in the Bible. Um... There's a really nice one, whether you believe in God or you don't, um, that is just a beautiful thought to me, and this is what stopped me from feeling lonely um, tonight. Uh, it says, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will not leave you until I have done what I promised you. And I love that because the first part of it is I'm with you and I will watch over you wherever you go. So whether I'm asleep 
on my bed, whether I'm walking to uni, whether I'm on the train, whether I'm driving in my car, whether I'm going for a walk at night, whether I'm hanging out with all my friends, it doesn't matter because I might still feel lonely in doing all those things. But the first part of this quote, I am with you and I will watch you wherever you go. I'll watch over you wherever you go. It's so comforting to know that wherever I am, God is like, there she is. She's mine. She's fine. And she knows that I'm here loving her and watching over her. And that's a feeling for me that's so comforting because even when I am in my bed alone at night thinking, man, like I just feel empty and alone and like I'm not worth anything. I know that there's someone out there who's created me and loves me so much and is literally watching over me thinking how beautiful is she and to me and she's so perfect in my eyes and I'm so glad that I, I made her and that she's still lying in bed thinking about me. Like we need to remember that we aren't alone, that we're not just nothing in this earth. But like seriously, if you start to think about it and you start to think why do you wake up every morning, why do you end up going to sleep and why not if you're just here for like, Hell, you know the average like 80 years of your life why not just do everything under the sun like kill, like hurt yourself and hurt other people around you and act carelessly and take drugs and get drunk every single weekend and waste that time and just do things that actually amount to nothing and when you die these people aren't going to remember you for the amazing things that you accomplished and the like will people remember you like well, wow, that was that guy who stood for this and he stood for that and no matter what he said, you know, I might not have believed it but I knew it was the truth somehow and I knew somehow there is something after it. There is something after this earth where we do experience loneliness and we do experience sadness and pain and unworthiness and I just think, like, if you believe that there's a reason to wake up every morning, there's a slight part of you that I'm sure believes that there's someone who created you for this earth for a purpose and for a promise and that's how I see life and that's how I want to even I don't know maybe you've never heard someone say that to you before so I wanted to be that person to give you that um like that example but it's true like that's literally why I wake up every morning like by myself not by myself with my friends with my family it doesn't matter who's around it's so nice to know that when all those people fade away when I don't have them or when they leave or when they come back or when you know circumstances change that I don't need to fret I don't need to worry that I'm not worthy enough anymore for someone because there is someone who literally has created me for a purpose for a promise and that loneliness just goes away it just all of a sudden disappears and I'm like it doesn't matter about my circumstances, it doesn't matter who I've lost, it doesn't matter who's left my life and it doesn't matter who's mad at me or who's upset or who doesn't want to love me anymore, God loves me and God God created me for a purpose and that's why I love the rest of this because it says, I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Um, if anyone wants to read this as well, it's Genesis 28, 15. Um, I just love the last part. I love the part where it says, until I've finished what I promised. And the best part is that God's never finished. Like, God is never finished. He has a plan from the day you were conceived to the day, like the day, even before you were like, you started to grow inside someone you were thought about long before that. All the way to the day that you die, God's got a plan from A to B. And he's got promises every single day of your life and for you to if you choose to take those promises and make them happen and believe in them and when they happen you just have this overwhelming knowledge of like a really true love that it doesn't matter if you're not loved by your friends or family or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or anything like that like you've got this person or god who knows the ins and outs of your heart that knows the complex part of you that you feel like no one else will love ever. But God does. He actually made you like that because he needs you like that to fulfill this promise. And I love how God says, I'll not leave you until you've finished the promise, that, like the things I've promised you. And God like has so many promises for us that 
the best part of that whole thing is that he will never leave us because his end promise is that we'll be with him in eternity when we accept him as our Lord and Saviour. And, like, that just, it gives me the most amazing sensation feeling in my heart to know that there's someone who has promised me that, like, that loves me that much that they will never stop loving me or doing amazing things to me or bringing amazing people into my life or bringing amazing promises into my future, how much, how, like, how, you can't get better than that. And I just don't know, like, you people out there who feel lonely and who don't feel like you've got anyone right now, I just want you to, you know, close your eyes, just have a think. Or maybe you do have everyone in your life. I don't know, and you still feel lonely, but whether that's you or not, just cl tell, like after this video, whenever, close your eyes and think about why you're here. Think about the reasons for it. If any negative things come into your mind, I want you to discard them. Say, no, that's not right. Don't think about that. Think about there's actually someone out there who loves you so much that they're ne like, never going to leave you, ever, ever, ever. And whether or not you like it, they're still going to be there. <laughs> like It's like saying to someone, go away, go away, go away. I don't want you in my life. I don't need you here right now. Like, just I can't think about you here in my life right now. And if you reject this person and just run away, the best part of God is that whether or not you like it, he's still there. And it's up to you to choose to believe that he has these promises for you and he has this future for you and he will take away your loneliness and he will fulfill that part of your heart that feels not worthy and not good enough. And I just want you to think about that. Just a little thought, but that's why I couldn't finish my homework today because it's all I can think about that, like, you know, I'm wrapped up in my mind right now thinking about how upset I am and I'm feeling lonely and selfish and, like, jealous even. I don't need to feel like that. I don't need to feel like that because whether or not I'm with someone or not or whether or not people leave or people walk out of my life, I'm loved. I'm promised a future with great things and I've got someone who loves me enough and they're never going to leave me no matter how much I reject them, don't feel good enough for them, don't feel worthy for their love, don't feel like they actually want me. I've got a promise here saying that they do. They do want me, they do love me and they do have a promise for me and they will never leave me. And for anyone who's experienced this feeling or is feeling this right now, I just want you to watch this video and remember that and read that that verse I said and just remember that you are loved and you are promised the world and I want you to wake up every morning knowing what I've just spoken about and that if you feel lonely don't or to take away the feeling of loneliness for a while think about how loved you are um yeah that's kind of all I have to say today <laughs> um but yeah that's just a thought but I hope you liked my thought. Um, yeah, maybe subscribe if you want to keep hearing some of my thoughts that I have, you know, once a year because <laughs> I barely post anymore. But, um, yeah, I, I really hope it maybe even challenged you or stirred something up in your heart or confirmed something or you took something from this that made you feel like you can take that next step in your life. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Stay with me, touching, still.